2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello, Henny. Hi, Luke. I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. So it appears this player's target is to beat Ricky Fowler this week. That should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Yeah, Ricky Fowler sounds like he's up for the challenge on social media. He's been talking about this rivalry. Is Ricky ever not up for the challenge, though? He'll smile as he's beating you, that's for sure. Yes, likes to kill him with kindness, does our Ricky. He is a, a wonderful fella on and off the course. And with a renewed confidence in his game, the new father's looking to shine here. This will be a tough challenge for our rivalry. Handy effort, that one. Well, this is some lovely momentum to take into the tournament. Coming off a last start win, Rich. Can't think of any better momentum. Obviously, the players firing on all cylinders. Sit back, watch, and enjoy it. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Got to like their chances from there. Eight feet to the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He's currently in a share of top spot. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waist area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Ah, great shot. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 180 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one needs to kick left. Well, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And back to the course with the live action. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Well, that's a nice line. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. I like it. Two in a row. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The third hole at TPC Sumlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Well, well played. The third hole at TPC Summerlin has been converted from a par five down to a four, Rich, which makes this second shot much tougher. Second shot across the ravine to a green that's surrounded by bunkers. Should you find the green in two, two putts from there will be just fine. But watch out, big numbers abound should you start missing this green out to the right.
but not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Was on a good line. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. These are on rails, looking good. Yeah, good job. Nice par. And now that finds him in first place. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Well done. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Currently in the lead by a shot. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. No green in red, but a chance to save their par. And a par putt awaits him. Now that's how you roll the rock. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Unreal display this week with that wand. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently in fourth place. Didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. Just didn't drop. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Going with the six iron here. Okay, that'll work. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, get in. No, nah, that's a tad upsetting. And that should secure the par on this one. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Oh, oh stop it. What a way to make your par. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Now, current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a snaking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers.
This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Few players have had the kind of impact on the game that Ricky Fowler has. And certainly being a fan favourite, Rich, it's funny when you see grown men dressed head to toe in orange supporting this uh, wonderful person. Uh, but I know he wants more out of his career bio than what he's got right now. And he will definitely get it as well, Luke. He's too good of a talent and he has too much ability to not be a great player and be on the top of the leaderboard uh, definitely a few times during the season. He is definitely, if there is a Pied Piper in golf outside of Tiger Woods, I would put my thumb on, on Ricky Fowler just because so many people go out there dressed in the orange gear that he has. And whatever he does, they just love it. He's engaging. He's affable. He looks like he is enjoying himself on the golf course, which I truly believe he is. He really is one of these players that's so dynamic and so fun to be around. You can't help but root for him week in and week out. Still in the lead now after that hole. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. That's nicely done. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Going with the pitching wedge here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And here we are with the third shot. Well, that should save them, that one from the sand. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Going with the hybrid. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Ooh. Yeah. Golf clap. Really good. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Now this one, this is important. This for par. Ooh, right by the hole. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Leading by a shot after that hole. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. 
Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? This is like a bad lie with a bit of grilled bad lie on top, sprinkled with dashings of bad lie. Lovely effort, that. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two as they should what a play hopefully they'll reward it for that play and taking aim from around 100 yards here he leads the field by a stroke just needs this one to kick right That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Surely it's going to. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. That is right down the sprinkler line. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I gotta say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. And he's hit that inside the range. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. It's looking great now. Well, nice to drop a part of that length. Well done. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And let's have one more look at that shot. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. That'll sting a bit. Let's return to live play now. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green.
That tee shot looks pretty good. As we test ourselves here in the closing nine at TPC Summerlin, what's the second shot into 11 like? It's a very unfriendly second shot. This green sits above the fairway a good four to five feet. If you hit it long, you've got no hope of getting it up and down. A very scary shot, to say the least. If you walk away from a par here, happy days. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. That's brilliant out of the sand. Let's get back to it, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Good stroke. That's a good putt to make, that one. Currently at minus five now for the day. Twelfth here at Summerlin is another short par four, 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. This is full send. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 140 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Needs this one to kick right. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. Just missed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. An opportunity to make their par. Currently five under for the event. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, Make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Second shot here on their 13th hole. And here we are with the third shot.
This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And that will take him to six under. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Here's Ricky Fowler's next shot. And there it goes from the sand. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? 12 feet to the cup coming up. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, so close. Just three feet to the cup. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Oh, that one's bouncing around in the branches. Far from ideal. Sitting at minus six. Currently in the lead. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, how good was that? Almost an eagle. OK, time to return to the action. Getting ready to play their third. of a chip shot there gotta say his short game is phenomenal now four shots up after that hole three holes remaining this is what it's all about time to see who is going to get it done the 16th at tpc sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish a par five playing 560 yards a well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two if you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16. So most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy. And there's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Well, that 
was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Fantastic play so far, setting this up for the eagle. A bit long on that one. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Ooh, nice line. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. He's found the surface. Good chance here. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. This one's for birdie. That's a great attempt from long range. So close. An opportunity to make a par here. He's currently sitting in first place. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. That's uh, heading for the fairway. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Put every ounce they had into that drive. And choosing the eight iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Purdy at the last. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Ouch, that hurts. All right, let's see if they can compose themselves. Well, it's fair to say that this player ran the tables this week, Rich, and came up trumps in Las Vegas. Look at your Shriners Children's Open winner. And nobody on the PGA Tour will be shining quite as brightly as this player the rest of the evening here in Las Vegas. This is impressive. To win out here on tour is a big deal, but to go back to back, Rich, how significant is that? Luke, winning once on the PGA Tour is difficult enough to win back to back weeks. That's reserved for just the top players in the game. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.